I should dance. That's what Puddin does, right? If Puddin dances, it's a hundred thousand dollars. I can't dance. Okay, let's not do that anymore. Hey everyone, Casey here. This time on Patina Pit Stop. Well, you read the the thumb click and the, the bait nail is is yeah, I I borrowed borrowed my dad's truck. And even though he's blaming me that I broke it, the truck has 325,000 miles on it, but it probably is still my fault. So I work on it. I don't know if I ever really fix it or not. So I'm back. So lots been going on, busy. I got some kind of virus thing a couple weeks ago. That was fun. Um, the shop's looking a little different. And when I say shop, I'm talking about my one car garage. I did move my second one car garage closer. So it's in the same building now. The wagon is now in the working on stuff garage. I got a new bench, that's cool. I got that, uh, the wheel spins and stuff goes into your eye. I got one of those. Got this all reorganized and moved around. Got water, got to stay hydrated like Puddin. You know, Puddin. Puddin got a, a shop. Puddin got a new shop. Mortski. Mortski got a new shop. So, I figured if I start making some videos, maybe I can get a shop too. Everyone else has got one, so you know, good for them. We're gonna we're gonna get back and do the thing and make the videos, and that, that's what we're here for. Let's talk about my dad's Silverado, 1999 Chevrolet Silverado, 325,000 miles on it. I said, Dad, I need something with air conditioning. It's hot. He said, Okay, you can borrow the truck for the summer. I went and got it, brought it up here, leaking oil like crazy, and let's dive into that problem, and then we'll come back and talk about what else has happened. It has become very apparent to me, and I'm an idiot, that this axle pinion front differential seal right there is leaking. Because there's oil everywhere. Now, when it first started leaking, I couldn't tell because it goes all over the transmission. It goes all over the exhaust. It goes down the skid plate. It's going down the frame. It's basically this thing will never rust anymore. But yeah. Oh, hey, we got an axle boot leaking, which I'm not going to fix because I'm not. So let's get this tore apart. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. That is the front drive shaft out of this truck. Remember, I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't judge me. Well, judge me. I don't, it doesn't really matter. I admit that I'm a below average backyard mechanic. I also am not a four wheel drive guy, so I didn't know if this would spin or not spin. I understand when you engage the transfer case that it locks in that drive shaft to make that all go. But does it turn all the time? I don't know. I never am underneath here when it's turning. I'm not, I'm, I'm up, I'm up there in the seat. Because I'm not 100% sure, 99% sure, that that's what is leaking, is that pinion seal, I fixed it. It shouldn't leak anymore, right? Because that drive shaft is spinning, that drive shaft is spinning when the truck is moving, I assume. It's gotta be. So, <laughs> my thinking is that by putting that 
zip tied onto there. Now this won't spin. So the leak should be much, much, much less, much less. So what I'm going to do, I know what I'm supposed to do. What I'm going to do is we're going to go I guess for a test drive, I sprayed it down with brake clean. I'm gonna kind of wipe off some of this stuff and then take it for a test drive and see if my leak is gone. If it is, which I'm pretty sure it will be, I'll buy a pinion seal, pull that off, pop that out, put the pinion seal in it, put that back in, put the drive shaft back in, fixed. Part of the reason why this was so hard to diagnose and I, now that I'm under here a little better, you see the oil all over the oil filter? I thought it was an oil filter. I thought it was a rear main seal. I thought, because all of that is engine stuff. And because this is spinning and slinging it, it's slinging it this way. It's slinging it all over the exhaust. It's all over the cross member. And I think it wasn't leaking. My dad said that he had no drips in his floor or nothing. Well, because that thing was like over a pint low. So I think it was so low that it wasn't really leaking anymore. I filled it up and immediately started leaking. So by fixing it, I messed it up. Does that make sense? By servicing, by doing maintenance, I messed this thing up. Yeah, all right. Let's go take it for a test drive. To show you how intense this oil leak was, this isn't dirt. That's oil. We don't want to, that's oil. It is coated the tailgate. It is speckled all over the back of the truck. So maybe I'll take it for a car wash too. Alright. First of all, let's get this thing off. Whoop, not that thing. Not a ton of oil on that. So I'm kind of hoping that's what my leak is because that's leaky right there. So I'm worried that that's not my leak now. That's concerning. Huh. It's definitely not as bad as it was. I'm already here. Should I just change it? Try to pull the, the pinion. What is that thing? The yoke? It's a yoke? Yeah. That's the way I say yoke. But this is a harmonic balance puller. And I can't get in there to tap this. I've been trying. So, I'm going with the Derek if it works, is it really a dumb idea? Theory here. That's Vice Grip Garage. And uh, I have no idea if this is actually gonna work or if I'm just going to destroy the yoke that I'm speaking of here. Oh, all right, so I got that on. You have gotta be kidding me. Uh, it's actually working, I think. Got to find a better place to grip it. There we go, like that, baby. Oh, no way. I am a genius. It is working, I think. How am I gonna get it back on? Oh, I know how to get it back on. I'll just use the nut. Duh. Oh. The nut that is still on right now. No way. I cannot believe this is harmonic balance puller. Small block Chevy style. Oops. 
Look at that. Okay, I was not convinced that this pinion seal was bad until now. Now I feel like it might be bad, which makes me feel better. That's why I also have the oil filter off, because I was like, why I'm under here. I'm gonna replace the filter to see if that's why. I went and bought one of these things, the claw. Oh, Mortsky, he uses the claw. Oh, that's, that's brittle. That didn't work. Which side should I use? This side? Definitely not. How about this side? Let's go back to this one. Ow, that, that does not feel good. Oh, man. Let's try this. It's coming. Fell right out. Looks pretty good. This thing is brittle though. Like this one, you can see it, it's bendy. That one is harder than Chinese algebra right there. All right, oh, they got a little grease in here already. like that didn't take forever. All this because I wanted a truck with air conditioning for the summer. All right, so that's the story on what happened with my dad's truck. Now let's talk about what's going on <laughs> with uh, my S10. I'm very sad. Sold the S10, guys. I'm not happy about it. Like, I'm really sad. Um, the no air conditioning thing was just too much. It was, I caved, I'm weak, what can I say? This has been one of the hottest summers in Nashville. We've had several days where it uh, approached a hundred. I know that's like 40 for Canadians, but for us here, it's, it's hot. hundred, hundred. That's a lot. That's a lot of numbers. I think what I really need to do is focus on one car, the station wagon, not two. So I'm going to give you a quick glance of my new hot rod. Uh, I'm not excited about it because it's, it's the opposite of a hot rod not very much fun but it's got air conditioning and cruise control and a am fm cd player that works and all that good stuff so my new dad bod car i think i'm gonna call it kevin that sounds like a kevin sounds like a dad bod name doesn't it so that's what my new chevy equinox is kevin just kevin doesn't get a last name doesn't deserve one anywho uh what else we got going on so the S10 has gone. I did not take any video of it leaving. I took a picture and that's it. And it's gone. The reason why I ended up with this Equinox, it's a clean one owner. Something we've always said in my family is clean one owner. It is actually a one owner car. It's a grandma car. Grandma drove it back and forth to church kind of thing. It's an 06 with like 79,000 miles on it, which is really low. She bought it brand new. It's clean. It's a one owner. It's a clean one owner. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Patina Pit Stop. Uh, did a little bit of playing with the my dad's old truck. Sold the S10. Bought a boring Chevy Equinox. I'm probably not going to make any videos about that. Painted the wheels and put chrome center caps in it <laughs> just to be funny. Appreciate you guys watching. Please hit subscribe, like, comment. Uh, R.I.P. Shane Falco, the Chevy S10. 
uh, but we're gonna focus more on the wagon and uh, I have a video idea that I'm already diving into right now today as we speak. So if you click on the next video, I'm gonna be wearing this. We'll see you next time, guys.